America, America has a problem. And welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of. I really put in both of these young ladies off of your Olympic team already by the motherfucking Winter Cup, girl. It is the very first competition of the season, trying to assign team to the last two World Cups and to the DBTK, whatever trophy shit that's going on in Japan, girl. Um, I think it's a blessing in disguise that Gabrielle did not compete at this Winter Cup. I think it's best for her not to compete until she looks absolutely ready because look at what y'all doing to Suni. Yes, Suni fell three times. She tried her new eponymous skill on the Neven bars, the laid out Jaeger with a full twist. <coughs> she fell on that. Then she fell doing the Ginger from her Maloney Ginger and she fell doing that. And then she went to Bean and she did a really watered down Bean routine and she fell doing that. It's the first competition. Let's not forget at American Classics 2021, Sunni had a horrible competition and fell all over the place. And by the end of that year, Sunni Salee was the Olympic champion. Let's not forget that Gabrielle Douglas is known for not doing the best at national competitions at the beginning of the season and making it to Olympic teams. Let's not jump ahead of ourselves and put in these girls off of the team. But what I do want to talk about today is from the Winter Cup, we saw clear and divisive lines being drawn in the sand and where people are trying to make the team set. And I want to talk about some of the girls that are directly challenging both of two of my favorite gymnasts of all times from making this Olympic team. Um, let's start off with Kayla DeCello. Mama did well at this competition. Like, so many people is hating on her scores or whatever. And I feel that. I feel like she was overscored. I definitely feel like she was overscored. This this meet was definitely given a nice, cute, high 54 possibly low 55 it was not given a high 56 that's not what she was given but that's not neither here nor there what is here or there is right now they're letting me know that this young lady is direct competition to my two girls right and sky blakely but it's not about sky blakely this is about specifically gabby and suny right now they're saying that realistically and you know what Let's just have an honest conversation, you guys. Let's just have an honest conversation. First of all, with Suni, we haven't seen Suni compete elite, like all around, since the Olympics. We've seen her do college, which is gives everybody hope, but then her kidney issue. And nine times out of ten, Suni is going to be stuck to bars and being specialist, right? They're giving Kayla DeCello, like, great beam scores for a beam routine that not much better than she did at World Championships 2021 that was scoring somewhere around a 13-something, close to a 14. Like, I, I just... It seems like the judges are telling us that Kayla DeCello is definitely in the mix for this Olympic team. And it worries me because, again, we ha and Gabby, we haven't seen Gabby do gymnastics since 2016, literally eight years ago. So much has changed. I do believe Gabby can get it done on bars and beans. Ball and floor, I'm still, I, I am Gabby Douglas, one of her biggest fans, and I'm still iffy about 
what the hell she got going on for Vault and Floor. I thought it was going to be her and Sunni fighting for the bars and being specialist spot, but it seems like Gabby's for the do the all around and Sunni is for the do bars and being, which terrifies me for Gabby because of a young lady named Kayla DeCello. Like, if they keep giving Kayla DeCello these scores and Kayla is the third best all around, like poor lawyer said on the stream, if Kayla DeCello is the third best all around at trials, they're not going to take Gabby to the Olympics. Or they're not going to take SUNY to the Olympics because then Gabby is regulated to the bars and being specialist spot and then SUNY doesn't get to go to the Olympics or vice versa. Whoever is looking the best at that moment in time. Kayla DeSello, you put fear in my heart, girl. You put I'm not even for the hate on you. I'm going to just be honest. You put fear in my heart, girl, because I'm not sure what the judges is going to do with you in these scores come nationals, come trials. Let you go to the DBK Cup and win a whole bunch of medals, girl. Like, like I can see the train. I can see the train starting to roll on your behalf. I'm not even for the hate on you. I'm 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 scared for you. I'm not for you, I'm scared of you, Kayla DeSello. Michaela DeSello.